credit, they gave the running back enough room, and he got in there for the score. for the extra point. And the extra point is good. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. running it out to the 20 mark him down at the 19 two minutes to go in the second half now on first down every snap crucial the rest of the way the Vikings offense preparing to get this drive underway their last drive actually ended in a touchdown Phil we'll see if they still have it in them to issue a repeat performance well what you saw in that last drive was everything just came together perfectly for them. the experience of the football team the talent of the players and the coaches helped them out. They got it done. Good job by the offense here. Hustle up, get that football snap, conserve time, and most of all, conserve that timeout. Those are big down the stretch. Second and eight. Throws the pass. And they are in on Peterson. The Vikings are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Third down coming up, needing a first at this point. The Vikings will line up the first down marker right at the 39-yard line. Third down and four. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. Holding offense. The defense accepts the penalty, and this is a crucial third down play coming up. Third and a long way to go. Scanning the field. Peterson's got it on a pass that had some heat. First down, pressure on every snap now. Always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can. And one way to do it is go to the hurry-up offense. Good job. They'll throw it over the middle. Bridgewater still down, so we'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Miracles do happen, but this team's going to need one probably to pull this off. He's wide open for the grab. Godfrey's there to take him down. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. First down at the 32. Makes the catch in open space. The Vikings decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Almost intercepted. It's tight down here in the red zone. So if you're a defender, read the quarterback. You make a quick break on the football. Hey, you get in position like this, and you can knock it down. Second down and 10. hold on here as it goes incomplete got to get the defense a lot of a lot of credit there don't you Jim they are all over the receivers all over the field nowhere to throw it and it just results in an incompletion third down and ten and they're all over it for the sack and there's a timeout so we'll take one with them you're watching the NFL on EA Sports He'll go for it on fourth down, late stages. Hill's got it in the gun. Looking long.
Falcons offense is on the field for a victory bow. One kneel down, and then they can celebrate, Phil. What a feeling. Yeah, it's got to be great for them, and what a difference. You look at them walking on the field, you can see the emotion, the body language, and look at the defense. Everybody head down, knowing all that work was, was for nothing because you did not win the game. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. First down here after the run. This will be the final snap. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. with the long pass down the field. Leaps in the air and has it. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same that I enjoyed spending these last <laughs> three hours with you, but that's just not the case. But, no, just kidding, of course. Nice win. They got to feel good about what they've done and uh, uh, celebrate a little tonight. I think I'll see you next week, maybe. So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, we have a matchup of two of the more talented, young, and explosive receivers in the NFL. It's Mike Evans versus Julio Jones. Now we'll head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 13 matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports, a matchup in the NFC South as we join you from Raymond James Stadium. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims and a storybook matchup here today with an unbeaten I'm to take on a big challenger. Yeah, and the other team can't wait to put that first loss in that other column for them, so it should be exciting.
And Sean Sweezum looks set now to kick it away. So that means Devin Hester will be back for the opening kick. This game has officially begun. Hester's going to drop to a knee here, so this will come out to the 20. Lions going to jog out to the huddle now. He is a definite threat to beat you with his arm. He's in the top 10 right now in the league when it comes to touchdown throws. Matt Ryan knows how to throw the football in rhythm. In other words, when he drops back and it's time to let it go, he does not hesitate. Good quick release and an accurate throw. First down at the 20. Freeman's going to secure the handoff. Here's our look at the Falcons' offense. They've got a rushing attack that's hovering right around league average this season. The Buccaneers will come out in the dime. Second and ten. Freeman's taking the handoff. This defense is ready to pounce here early in this game as a third and long play is coming up. They sure are. There's no doubt about that. They got themselves in a good situation here. If I'm the quarterback now, third and long, I would be very cautious and conservative. Looking to go deep. And that incompletion is going to bring us to a very quick fourth down. Uh, there's nothing like a big hit. When you get it and it connects, it gives your defense some emotion. Look at the guys, how they're jumping around. Hey, that gets everybody excited. Adams there to make the tackle. And a run back of about three. Winston's a player to watch today. Last week, he threw for over 250 yards. Oh, let's just go over the accolades. National championship, Heisman Trophy winner, first pick of the draft. Oh, my gosh. He's got it all. That's what the Tampa Bay Buccaneers hope. We'll see if he can get it done on the field. First down at the 44. Martin's going to get it out of the eye. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Loss of three on the play. Second and 13, and now on the draw. Godfrey's all over that offense and brings him down. You know, Jim, it's been a long time, but when I played and it was third and long early in the game, I knew the defense was going to be very careful. So I was already thinking, if I don't like it down the field, I'm going to throw it short and do it quickly. Jermaine Gresham has the catch. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. This punt will not be returned. It will never see the field of play as it sails out of bounds. The Falcons will attempt to get a little something going here on offense. This game has come to a little bit of a halt as we've seen two punts in a row. Well, what has to happen in a situation like this, Jim, you need the offensive coach to dial up a play to give you something where it's going to catch the defense by surprise, and it's going to work. And it's not about you just making the play. It's about the coach designing a play that works easily for the athlete. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Freeman's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Lions on the move, and they get the sack. This might not be nice to see, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. Falcons at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. Ryan connects with White. 
I know it looks easy, but it's not. But a nice throw on the slant route. Slant route means you're slanting towards the inside. Good throw and catch. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. We're back here getting ready for the second quarter. Bill, that was a defensive tug of war the first quarter. It sure was, and it was a tug of war, and it was boring. That's what it looked like. I, I, I want to give the defense some credit. I thought they did well, but really the offense is just poor play selection, poor execution, and you got to get some emotion going out there on the offensive side. Steps out of bounds. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. First down and 10. Looking for some daylight up the middle. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Freeman's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. He'll get it again. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. It's third down coming up. Ryan takes it from the gun. And it's batted down. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. Ryan's on the move. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. Halftime, two minutes away. Welcome back. Halftime just a couple of minutes away as we resume play out of the two-minute warning. First and goal. Could have been intercepted. Good job that time by the defensive player. He reads the quarterback, gets in position, down near his own end zone, knocks that pass down. And now Ryan's going to take off. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. Third and goal from the one. And it's knocked down. It's third and goal. You don't get it in the end zone. What do you do now? I think you go for it. You call the right play. Give your team a chance to put a touchdown on the board. The offense back out of the field here for this fourth and short play. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. Power surge for six. Touchdown. That time on fourth and goal, the offense goes for it. The defense is all excited. They want to try to stop them, and they make bad mistakes and give up the touchdown. The Falcons lined up now for the point after. The point after try is in the books. Ryan's going to watch his defense come out here in a moment. He was good for over 70 passing yards on that last touchdown drive. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Buccaneers weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here. Do you think they are going to bury their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of information out there in that short drive, Jim, and you do that by showing different formations and plays. You saw how the defense reacted to it. Now you And he's thrown to the ground. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. And 
It is caught by Mike Williams. Well, I know this. When it comes to these situations, don't take a chance because if you do, I promise you, it's going to backfire. Right, go. <laughs> Third and forever. Doug Martin carries the football. The Falcons signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. 